Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock, and I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom, coming to you live from Helen's Place, who is busy uh, on the uh, pearls machine, making pearls for all the kids in the land. Yes, uh, it's fun times. Um, today, there's only one game. Now, if you go over to uh, BPOW Picks, so we that uh, me and Bill and Bill, who's Bill? Who's Bill? <laughs> Brian, me and B. Uh, I am Pal. He is B, and we have a channel over there. And we did a pick our picks for this evening. So you can head over there. I'm not doing another one video for that. But what I am going to do is trade deadline. Perlo dance. It's trade deadline. It's my favorite day in the land. One of them, anyways, right up there. So, uh, yeah, we, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So what I'm going to do is um, we're going to talk about some trades that have happened and how that affects our picks going forward. One of the trades that have happened is a, a, a very big, probably the biggest one so far today, is Vincent Trocek from the Florida Panthers, who, Vincent Trocek is, I'll just talk a little bit about him, shall we? Vincent Trocek is, has been a fantastic, they, uh, second line center could be a number one center on a lot of teams. Um, the problem is he's had injury issues and there has been some strife going on there in Florida. I think about the extent of his injury or how he's handling his inj injuries. Maybe it's just, uh, how much they think the injury, that his injuries are going to affect him in his, in the future. I personally think that there's some issue of how much he's coming back from his injuries or taking care of himself, of himself through the injuries. I have no background, I have nothing. But quite often in these cases, that's the concern. If somebody's having injuries and they're not rehabbing the way they want them to or whatever, uh, they tend to end up on the block. By the way, something I haven't did for a while. Namaste. Namaste to you, connecting with our divines during the trade deadline, connecting with our divines during the trade deadline, the beautiful, most wonderful time of the in the year, almost like Christmas to hockey play to hockey fans. It is. But uh, so anyways, they trade him for Eric Halla. Halla is a really good, he can play second or third line probably best suited for third line center. He also can play wing, which is a big advantage. Thing is, he's a free agent at the end of this year. Um, but I think he, it's a good pickup. It's a solid pickup for a um, Florida team that could really use some a little bit of grit and intensity, and he brings that. Um, I have a feeling they'll be able to re-sign him, and I know that Quinville's gonna love him a lot. Uh, Lucas Walmark, on the other hand, is the opposite. He is a good, solid passer. Somebody that would play well with, say, Hoffman. Hoffman. Because um, Hoffman's got such a great shot. The problem is, he's a perimeter player. And Carolina has been struggling with this player for quite some time. Now, he's very smart. He plays Both of these guys play well defensively. Florida has struggled defensively this year. A lot of it has been put on Bob Roski. I've watched the games... And I think there is some legitimacy to the fact that Bob Rossi is not having the greatest year. However, he came from a Columbus team that that team came back defensively and helped him out an awful lot. And I think with these two picks, if they can sign these guys again, it helps a lot in that area. Um, now you're asking, okay, why would they trade a, a second line center, maybe even could be a first, for basically two players that they're never, they might not even have at the end of the year. Well, they also got Chase Prisky and Ilawas Torinen. Ilawas Torinen, hard to say. Uh, 2017 second round pick, Ilawas Torinen, uh, Finnish player, had 25 points in 43 games in the minors. And, uh, that's pretty good production for a 20-year-old kid uh, In uh, that's a second-round pick. Big boy, 
He's 6'3", 200 pounds, so he's progressing well physically. Um, they could have a really good player here. Now, I, if, if, if we all go over to the uh, Patreon there, they're where we're going to see this uh, video um, as well, and we get uh, more subscribers. By the way, you can get subscribed there for free for the first month uh, now and uh, we'll we'll give you your money right back and then you can find out if you enjoy the fine programming over there if we the more we get the more i'm going to be able to watch ahl games and bring you even greater picks but uh uh i he, he's not too far away from playing i would think he's probably maybe a year or two away prisky um was a sixth round pick by washington i'm doing this off the top of my head <laughs> That's how much I know about hockey, which is probably not good if you're not making any money doing it. <laughs> but uh, Prisky was a sixth round pick by the Washington Capitals. He uh, He's a smaller six foot defenseman. He's got good puck moving skills. He had 31 points so far in 52 games in the minors. Not too bad, but he's older. He's like 23. Um, however, when he went to call, he did very well in college. Decided not to sign with Washington and become a free agent. Carolina picked him up, I believe in the, uh, how did he pick him? They picked him up in a trade and ended up signing him or did they just sign him? I can't remember. Uh, anyways, and now he goes to Florida. He looks like he's going to be a decent defenseman. It's kind of on the bubble, but he looks like he's going to be a decent defenseman. Not a bad pickup. So, how does this affect our picks? Well, I'm thinking, I'm saying that if Carolina's got Trocek now, who also is a good two-way player, and he stays healthy, and that's it kind of iffy, but I think Carolina is more looking to the long term, or Florida is more looking to the was the problem was the long-term effects of these injuries on Trocek, not the near-term effects. Trocek has a fair size contract too, so they're a little concerned about their investment because of the injuries. Carolina is looking at it as, okay, we'll take the gamble on the injuries. This puts us in a great position right now, and it sure does. So for our picks coming up from now after the trade deadline to the, to the playoffs, I'm going to be leaning more heavily in Carolina's favor here. Uh, Walmart was basically their second line center up until now, and somebody that I wasn't all that confident in. Trocek is like a point a gamer, if not more, if healthy. With Aho up the middle, that is one of the best two top two centers in the league. Um, this bodes very well for that team. Um, it puts them in a position where they're almost now a lock to make the playoffs, I would say. So I will be picking them far more often. The other thing is, is trades like this, it takes a while for the for the uh the leans or the capping to catch up to like the lines to catch up. I'm, I think you're going to get a little more juice out of Carolina still until Trocek, until they start seeing the benefits of having Trocek in the lineup. So I say Carolina is a pretty fine pick now that they did this. As far as Florida is concerned with Halla and Walmart in there, um, Am I, I think they're about the same. I don't think this changes all that much for them, to tell you the honest truth. And there's something else I didn't mention, and I think this is going to be something that happens here at trade deadline now. They, get, they got some cap room here by doing this, and they are looking to add to their defense. If Florida adds to their defense here, and I think they likely will, we're probably talking about leaning to more Florida picks. Uh, it seems to be they, they have no choice but to accept that they have Bobrovsky as a as a, a goaltender. But their defense is a little vanilla. Um, they have a lot of players that do the same roles. I think they're probably looking for somebody like a Josh Manson in Anaheim, which would be unbelievable if they got that. Um, just off the top of my head, uh, that would be the first name that comes to my mind. But they're looking for a good shutdown type defenseman to put on that uh, back line uh, to to complement guys like Yandel and Matheson and so on and so forth like that. If that happens, we're going to be looking to Florida for our picks as well. Well, boys and girls, that's my full 42 for this session. Uh, I got to take my 42 little bits at a time. 
If you enjoy this fine programming, subscribe and bell if you could. I know it's hard to get your arm up there, but do some little, do your stretches. Get your arm up there. And if you're new, as they like to say, hit the subscribe button. You can bring this fine programming to you every single day. If you go over to the Patreon, sign up and check that out. All of our picks are, you get early access to our actual NHL picks. And you can go talk to them, frolic with us over there, and you'll find that they are making a whole lot of money. I know I am from my bets. Uh, but to a, to a certain extent with a little bit of uh, I have to use for my bets. But the more I get, the more we're going to make money together. We're going to come to you. And uh, this is something I haven't been mentioning. B. Pow and I have talked about it. As we get more subscribers and we get going, we are going to come to your land. And we're going to take you to hockey games. And we're going to have our, our, the Pearls of Wisdom, the, the Patreon uh, plane that is going to fly over to your land, pick you up, and we're going to take you to uh, hockey games together and everything. It's going to be freaking awesome. And you can be part of it by hitting the subscribe and the bell and bringing frolic everywhere. Have a great day. Lots of love to you.